Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Dave Davis, and today we're going to cover how to configure virtual services for multi-domain with server name indication on Avi. So before we jump into the demo, I wanted to provide a quick overview of what we're going to be doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into the controller and we're going to verify that we have our certificate for our application, as this is a requirement for SNI. In my case, I have a certificate with three subject alternative names, site one, site two, and a wildcard. Next, we want to provision our parent virtual service. This would be our catch-all virtual service, and anything that doesn't match site one or site two will be covered by the wildcard domain name here you see. With our parent virtual service created, we can go ahead and create our two child virtual services, one for site one and site two. Now let's say a user wants to request, wants to request site one URL. This traffic is going to be routed to the parent virtual service. The parent virtual service is going to do a lookup on the domain. It's going to see that we have a match since we configured our child virtual service for site one. And that traffic will be forwarded to the backend servers. Now let's say that same user wants to access site three. Well, since we don't have a virtual service that matches on that domain, our parent virtual service will handle that request. Okay, enough talking, let's jump into the environment. So the first thing we wanna do is click login to the controller and click on the hamburger menu up here, click on templates, click on security and SSL TLS certificates. We wanna focus our attention on the SNI demo certificate. I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna scroll down and we'll see a few subject alternative names. One for site one, site two, a wildcard, and the VIP address of the virtual service for the parent. Great, now that we have our certificate for the application, let's go ahead and go back to applications. We're gonna create our virtual service and click on advanced setup. Since my virtual machines are, are backed by NSXT logical switches, I'm gonna select my NSXT cloud. I'm gonna give this a name, call it parent SNI catch all. I'm gonna select virtual hosting VS, select parent, uncheck auto allocate and assign my IP address here. Select the tier one logical router. In this case it's dev. Select the application profile and select secure HTTP. Scroll down. I'm going to select the pool that I pre-created called catch all. And if we scroll down just a little bit further, I'm going to replace the default cert with the cert that I just showed you, SNI demo. I'm going to click next a few times and click save. All right, awesome. Our parent SNI virtual service is created. If we go back, Hover over, we can see the virtual services up. And now we're gonna create our two child virtual services. We'll start with site one. So we click create virtual service, advanced setup, NSXT cloud, and we're gonna give it a name, child SNI site one. Click on virtual hosting VS, leave it on child. And this time we're gonna select that parent we just created. And then in the domain name, we're gonna type in the domain name that we want the parent to do a match on. In this case, it's gonna be site1.demo.homelab.virtualizedstuff.com. And we're gonna select the similar settings we did on the parent. We're gonna select secure HTTP. We're gonna select the pool. In this case, it's gonna be site1. And we're gonna select the certificate SNI demo. Click next a few times and save. Now we're gonna create the last child virtual service for site two. And in this case, since we already went through site one, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video. Awesome. So now we have our three virtual services. Now what I'm gonna do is generate some traffic so we can look at the logs for each of these services. And we'll start with site one. And we click logs, non-significant logs, expand out the first request we see out on top. We can see our server name indication host name is site one. And that was redirected to the pool site one. And if we go ahead and verify on site two, 
we should see a similar thing. So if we click on logs, non-significant logs and expand out the first request here, we can see SNI hostname is site two and it was directed to the backend pool called site two. Lastly, we're gonna click on the parent virtual service, go to logs, non-significant logs, and we're gonna select the first one. And we can see we had a request come on catch all. Now, instead of me having to go through and, and find out all of the SNI host names for the other requests that we generated, I'm gonna take advantage of the log analytics here. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna go to host header, and there you go. You can see the requests that we made. We made one for site three, catch all, and tests. And the parent virtual service responded to those requests. And that's it for the demo. Thanks for watching. Please check out the other exciting videos in the application delivery how-to series.